Okay, so now we look at the last subtopic in chapter 7, which is gases exchange and control in plants. So for this subtopic, what you have to know is the first one, you have to know the structure of the gut cell because the function of the gut cell, it will regulate opening and closing of stoma or stomata. Okay, so if you look at the structure of gut cell here, so the gut cell has thin outer wall and then here is the thick inner wall and the inside of the gut cell, it has chloroplast. So since in gut cell, it has chloroplast so means that gut cell can undergo photosynthesis and also it has nucleus so if the structure of gut cell is like this so means that we consider this one as stomata or stoma open okay and then kalau kita compare dengan this structure so this is stoma closed if you look at this structure okay how stoma close actually when the gut cell is become flaccid okay so the main structure in gut cell that you have to take note here gut cell has thicker inner wall okay thinner outer wall and also it has chloroplast and then since the thin outer wall may expand easily so the gut cell will budge upward when they are terjit maksudnya bila gut cell berada dalam keadaan terjit okay so what happen to the gut cell it will budge upward maksudnya dia akan bergerak ataupun kita kata dia macam open ha, so that's why the stoma will become open when gut cell is interjet ok so now we look at regulation of the stomata opening and closing based on starch sugar hypothesis so how to explain the starch sugar hypothesis so you have to differentiate what happen to gut cell during day and also during night okay so firstly we look at during day first so what happened during day during daytime gut cell undergo photosynthesis so remember why gut cell can undergo photosynthesis because in the gut cell it has chloroplast and then since photosynthesis is occur so glucose are produced and accumulated in gut cell so bila kita kata glucose terhasil so what happened to this glucose glucose will be accumulated accumulated means glucose akan berkumpul di dalam gut cell so what happened since glucose is one of the solute so bila solute tinggi so what happened to the gut cell it will reduce the water potential in the gut cell okay so what happened since water potential in gut cell okay is reduced so the cell beside gut cell here we call as adjacent cell so the water potential in adjacent cell is higher than water potential in gut cell so that's why water from adjacent cell will enter gut cell by osmosis so this one is the concept of water potential or the concept of osmosis okay macam yang kita dah discuss dalam sem 1 Osmosis means the movement of water molecule from high water potential to low water potential. So in this case, since uh, gut cell has low po water potential than the adjacent cell, so that's why the water from adjacent cell will enter or diffuse into the gut cell by osmosis. So that's why what happened to the gut cell, gut cell will become terjit and stomata will be open okay uh, so this one represents stomata open so why stomata can open because gut cell become digit okay but if we compare to what happened during night so during night gut cell do not undergo photosynthesis so what happen ph low because accumulation of carbon dioxide so since uh, so since photosynthesis does not occur okay so there is an accumulation of carbon dioxide so bila carbon dioxide tinggi so ph akan rendah and then sugar is convert into starch okay then once sugar convert into starch okay so in sem 1 we are we already learn starch is an example of polysaccharide so the, the characteristic of polysaccharide it is insoluble in water so bila sugar convert kepada starch what happen to water potential water potential in gut cell will be in Chris, uh, kalau tadi bila glukos banyak, so glukos akan menyebabkan berlakunya reduction of water potential. So since sugar is convert into starch, okay, so this starch cannot affect the water potential. So what happen? Water potential in gut cell will be increased, and water potential in gut cell become higher than adjacent 
cell. Okay, so what happens since water potential in gut cell is higher than adjacent cell, so water will diffuse out from gut cell into adjacent cell by osmosis. Okay, so since water diffuse out from the gut cell, so the gut cell will become flaccid and stomata will be closed. Okay, uh, so as a conclusion, how stomata close? Because gut cell become flaccid. Okay, uh, so this is what happened to the uh, stomata. Okay, based on starch sugar hypothesis. Okay.